What's up everybody, back here again. Got uh, going through these series of uh, infield design videos. Gonna show you a little more here. So if we go back into our surfaces, we'll go into new. We've got, we'll, we'll get through all these, but this time we're on crown road surface. I made a video on the excavator showing good way to use this for putting pipe in. Um, the one thing I like about this tool is it actually creates a polyline that you can do a lot with, but it'll have a start and a stop point and create kind of a center line that you can get some reference to. I pretty much use this over the sloping plane. Um, and not all instances, but a lot of instances just because I feel like it's got a little more control. So we'll just call this slope or whatever, whatever you're looking to call it. Um, so we've got our crown road surface selected. So now you see we've got kind of similar to the sloping screen. Um, we've got a few more choices in here, but like I'm gonna move this dozer again. It makes it make it a little noise while I do that. We'll move back kind of our starting point here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit A. Take our first shot. Okay. Now I'm gonna move the dozer one more time. And back to B. Once again, you can shoot with the blade or you can put these points in. I have done that off a of river. I said in the last video, but I'll say it again. If you got a really complex design you want to do in field, you're better off to do it with your rover. Collect all your shots and, and you can build it in the data collector and then import it into the dozer. So you can see here, we have our grade set. Uh, it tells us how long our line is, essentially. Um, and we can go with the road. So this is basically how wide do we want it to be. So. You know, like I said, the, the name of this implies it's in, intended to be a crown road surface, but you can, you know, you're not treating it like this. You can use it for very different things. Waterways, especially, is going to be really handy. Um, but just think, you know, think of that. I try to shoot my line as the center line if, or the edge of one side or whatever, but just whatever you put in here. Let's do, it's called 15 feet. Cross for all from crown. So, what that'll do is, I'll show you when we do it, but it'll. If you put zero in here, it'll be a flat pad. Uh, I'm probably gonna say this backwards, but you put positive grade, I think it'll crown. You put a negative, we'll kind of make a V-ditch. So I have used this for V-ditches as well, but let's just do, um, oh shoot, let's do a 33, which is low excessive for crown. Right, let's just do 2% like we're actually doing a road. So if I hit finish, I'll select it. It says, do you want to set it as active? I say, yep. So you can see here how it's created a defined area as opposed to just going on forever. And then in here I've got, let me turn off my other uh, surface just to make it a little easier to see what we got going. So you can see here, it's a little hard because I only put the 2% on it. We can see, so now I've actually got an inverse slope. So I need to swap that around. So let's say I got my slopes backwards, easy enough. Surfaces, edit, next come in here minus two but we're going to go a little more drag just to uh so you can see a little bit better so now you can see update our surface here not sure why it's uh oh we've got it there we go so you can see there, you can see a little more dramatic with the 12%. Something I'm doing is making it mad. I think it may just be where I'm sitting. So you can see there, it shows you our center line. That's the line we created off our left edge there. And then I did 12%. Uh, off of that at 15 foot wide. So a little more customization. You can see a start and stop point. I'm gonna try something 
for the first time over on the video here just to see what it does. We go to surfaces, slope, I go to edit. This length originally was at 27. Let's just change it to 50. I want to see if it extends our line out. All other things remaining the same. Yeah, it looks like it does. Go ahead and extend that out. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing that because I don't know exactly what it all extended out, but something you can play around with, uh, and I do this on a periodic basis, is just goof around and see what this stuff does. A lot of times I'll create a pad <coughs> or slope and call it test, you know, and just monkey around in there and see what I can come up with. So you can see that can be a really useful tool. Um, what's nice about these is if you get it wrong, you just come in and edit it. And, you know, by doing this, you can learn what a lot of this stuff does and make a little more sense. So I changed that to zero. So now it'll flatten that dude out. Uh, but like I said, one thing I really like is how it creates this line. So whether that's my center line of my ditch, or if I want it to be my edge, if I'm following the road or whatever I'm trying to do, I really like that it gives me an alignment to work off of, as opposed to the slope. Well, you, you're using, a, you know, you're making an alignment when you shoot the two, but there's no reference to it again. So like I said, I pretty much use this one majority of the time, but uh, hopefully that answers some questions and helps. All right.